What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We continue here with our schedule preview projected record series. Illinois is up next before we get to 2024. Let's look back at the schedule from 2023. Here was the schedule from last season in Illinois. Again, going five and seven, disappointing season, of course. But uh, you look at the schedule and you look at the non-conference, they played Toledo, Kansas, and FAU. Kansas wound up being a, a tough opponent. Obviously they were very good last season. Uh, and then you look at who they played out of the East. They played Maryland, played them on the road. They played Indiana, um, and then they played Penn State. So really only played one really challenging game out of the East. So it wasn't a horrible schedule. And that's, again, why that 5-7 and seven record was a bit of a surprise. You look at the schedule for 2024, and we'll start with this non-conference. Uh, they'll play Eastern Illinois, Kansas, and Central Michigan. Uh, again, basically the same non-conference schedule they had last season. They do get Kansas at home this year, so maybe they'll be they'll find a way to win that game. And then we'll, we'll look at the home schedule here. It's Eastern Illinois, Kansas, Central Michigan. Like I said, then Purdue, Michigan, Minnesota, and Michigan State. That's not bad. I mean, that's really not bad. Michigan will be tough, but they'll have a chance against Purdue, Minnesota, and Michigan State. Those are all games that Illinois could potentially win. Not saying they will but potentially they could win those games. Definitely um, wouldn't be a shocker if they went 3-0 and in those games. Uh, then you look at the road schedule. They'll play five games in the Big Ten all on the road. Uh, Nebraska, Penn State, Oregon, Rutgers, and Northwestern. I think it's going to be tough for Illinois to find a win in any of these games, You know, maybe against Nebraska, Rutgers, or Northwestern. But Penn State, Oregon, yeah, I don't really see them having much of a chance there. So it's a pretty tough road schedule. If they're going to have a good season, they're going to have to take care of business at home. So here's the full schedule. They start on August 29th against Eastern Illinois, Thursday night game. Then they'll play Kansas the next week on September 7th. Then they play Central Michigan on September 14th. And then look at this, back-to-back -back road games at Nebraska and at Penn State, September 21st and 28th. And that's going to be tough right there. Then they get a bye week. So after the back-to-back -back road games, they get a bye week. A uh, chance to recover there before playing Purdue at home. That's going to be a huge game. That's going to be a big swing game. Uh, if they can if they can beat Eastern Illinois and beat Central Michigan, let's say even beat Kansas, and they're, they, they're at 3-2, three and two, you win this Purdue game, you're at 4-2, and two, or even 3-3 three and three if you lose to Kansas, uh, it's going to give you a chance, at least down the stretch, to maybe get to a bowl game. Uh, they'll play Michigan the next week on October 19th, and it's on the road at Oregon on the 26th. Obviously going to be a tough one, like I said. Minnesota the next week at home on November 2nd. Then they get another bye week. So, again, you, you get a bye week before this final stretch, and it could come down to, to Michigan State, Rutgers, and Northwestern, two of those games on the road. It could come down to those games and them needing to win a couple of them to get to a bowl game potentially, depending on how things go. But they get Michigan State on the 16th. Then it's on the road at Rutgers on the 23rd, on the road at Northwestern on the 30th. And again, back-to-back -back road games. Interesting that they have – back-to-back -back road games twice nebraska and penn state rutgers and northwestern um that's that's four of their five road games right there and then oregon kind of in the middle but again it's it's a it's a tough schedule for a team like illinois they don't play ohio state but they do have to play penn state michigan and oregon so three of the top teams in the big 10 uh, again with this schedule i think you just want to try to get to a bowl game that's probably the the goal for illinois with this schedule in 2024 here were some of the projections from last season. Illinois going five and seven. Our projection had them at seven and five. I actually predicted this team to go seven and five. I thought they were going to be much better. Uh, Athlon had them at six and six. The over under was at six and a half. So six and six, seven and five. That's really where this team was expected to be, and they disappointed at just five and seven. But let's see what the projection looks like for 2024. Here is the schedule. And again, it's not a, a terrible schedule, but it's it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. Um, you. Well, this is the scale that we're going to use here. So this is what we use our formula for all our projections. If it's under 20, over 80, those are games that are counted as wins. 20 to 29, 71 to 80, those are games that are counted or that I'm expecting to be pretty big spreads, double-digit spreads, a couple touchdowns at least are kind of in that range. And if you're wondering, I count that at 25% or 75%. Uh, 30 to 39, 61 to 70 games where I think the is going to be closer to a touchdown. 35 and 65 percent the numbers we use there and then the 50 50 games we use 50 percent and those are games that could really just go either way uh, where you know i think teams are basically on the same tier or maybe it's a team on a tier below another team but they get them at home 
or it's a tier above another team, but they have to play them on the road. That's kind of how we wind up with these 50-50 games. So we'll start with the easy win. That's Eastern Illinois. And I think we might use not we use all but one of the colors here with Illinois. But anyways, Eastern Illinois uh, is you know, they should win that game. Really, no doubt about it. Uh, Central Michigan, you, you feel confident that they should win that game, but it's not a guaranteed win. Again, a team out of the MAC that's not horrible. So uh, we'll put that one in the blue. Give them about a 75, 71 to 80 percent chance to win that game. Probably closer to 80 than 71. Um, and then we've got, really, those are the only games where I think they're going to be favored for sure. There might be some where they're favored by a little bit. Uh, I think you go to the other side here and look at the games they're going to be underdogs in. Kansas, I think they're going to be about a touchdown underdog in this game, even at home. Uh, Kansas just looks to be a better team. They beat them last year. And then Michigan, they get that game at home as well, but Michigan should be a much better team. I think they'll be about a, a two-touchdown, at least, underdog in that one. And then you've got the two games that we're going to give them no chance in. Penn State, Oregon, both on the road. We're talking about top teams, top tier teams in college football. I just do not see Illinois having any shot in either one of those games. But that's going to leave us with a bunch of games that could go either way. Nebraska, Purdue, Minnesota, Michigan State, Rutgers, and Northwestern. If I had to pick a, you know, who was going to be favored in these games, I'd probably favor Nebraska at home. I'd probably favor Illinois against Purdue, and with that game being at home. Um, I'd probably favor uh, Minnesota. I, I would actually probably favor Minnesota even at Illinois. I'd probably favor Illinois at Michigan State. And then I would favor the home teams with Rutgers and Northwestern both being favored against Illinois. So that means, you know, if they're favored against Michigan State and Purdue and they beat Eastern Illinois and Central Michigan, that's only four wins. So you've got to you've got to win some of these other games to get to a bowl game. I think it's going to be tough. And the projection actually does not have them making a bowl game. Our projection for Illinois has them at five and seven, um, not quite making it to a bowl game. I think they were like at 5.4 wins, so it, it did round down. But they were pretty close to six and six. Um, and if you've been watching the other teams in the Big Ten, I think Illinois and Purdue, the only teams projected to miss a bowl game, it's not going to go that way. Well, I'm sure we'll have more than two teams that miss out on bowl games. But these projections, again, are very conservative. Very conservative. Um, this is not a prediction. It's just a projection, kind of based on how the odds of each games of each game would go. So five and seven is a projection for Illinois. Do you guys agree? Do you disagree? Give me your thoughts on this team down in the comments below. What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you're watching our Big Ten channel. We continue here with our 2024 schedule breakdowns. Illinois is up next. Before we get to that 2024 schedule, let's look back at 2023. Here was the schedule from last season in Illinois. Again, going 5-7. and seven. Disappointing season, of course. But uh, you look at the schedule, and you look at the non-conference. They played Toledo, Kansas, and FAU. Kansas wound up being a, a tough opponent. Obviously, they were very good last season. Uh, and then you look at who they played out of the East. They played Maryland, played them on the road. They played Indiana, um, and then they played Penn State. So really only played one really challenging game out of the East. So it wasn't a horrible schedule. And that's, again, why that 5-7 and seven record was a bit of a surprise. You look at the schedule for 2024, and we'll start with this non-conference. Uh, they'll play Eastern Illinois, Kansas, and Central Michigan. Uh, again, basically the same non-conference schedule as they had last season. They do get Kansas at home this year, so maybe they'll be they'll find a way to win that game. And then we'll, we'll look at the home schedule here. It's Eastern Illinois, Kansas, Central Michigan. Like I said, then Purdue, Michigan, Minnesota, and Michigan State. That's not bad. I mean, that's really not bad. Michigan will be tough, but they'll have a chance against Purdue, Minnesota, and Michigan State. Those are all games that Illinois could potentially win. Not saying they will. But potentially they could win those games. Definitely um, wouldn't be a shocker if they went 3-0 in those games. Uh, then you look at the road schedule. They'll play five games in the Big Ten all on the road. Uh, Nebraska, Penn State, Oregon, Rutgers, and Northwestern. I think it's going to be tough for Illinois to find a win in any of these games. You know, Maybe against Nebraska, Rutgers, and Northwestern. But Penn State, Oregon, yeah, I don't really see them having much of a chance there. So it's a pretty tough road schedule. If they're going to have a good season, they're going to have to take care of business at home. So here's the full schedule. They start on August 29th against Eastern Illinois, Thursday night game. Then they'll play Kansas the next week on September 7th. Then they play Central Michigan on September 14th. And then look at this, back-to-back -back road games at Nebraska and at Penn State, September 21st and 28th. And that's going to be tough right there. Then they get a bye week. So after the back-to-back -back road games, they get a bye week. 
a uh, chance to recover there before playing Purdue at home. That's going to be a huge game. That's going to be a big swing game. Uh, if they can, if they can beat Eastern Illinois and beat Central Michigan, let's say even beat Kansas, and they're they, they're at three and two. You win this Purdue game, you're at four and two, or even three and three if you lose to Kansas. Uh, it's going to give you a chance at least down the stretch to maybe get to a bowl game. Uh, they'll play Michigan the next week on October 19th, and it's on the road at Oregon on the 26th. Obviously, going to be a tough one, like I said. Minnesota the next week at home on November 2nd. Then they get another bye week. So, again, you, you get a bye week before this final stretch, and it could come down to, to Michigan State, Rutgers, and Northwestern, two of those games on the road. It could come down to those games and them needing to win a couple of them to get to a bowl game, potentially, depending on how things go. But they get Michigan State on the 16th. Then it's on the road at Rutgers on the 23rd, on the road at Northwestern on the 30th. And again, back-to-back -back road games. Interesting that they have back-to-back -back road games twice. Nebraska and Penn State, Rutgers and Northwestern. Um, that's that's four of their five road games right there. And then Oregon kind of in the middle. But again, it's, it's, a, it's a tough schedule for a team like Illinois. They don't play Ohio State, but they do have to play Penn State, Michigan, and Oregon. So three of the top teams in the Big Ten. Uh, again, with this schedule, I think... You just want to try to get to a bowl game. That's probably the the goal for Illinois with this schedule in 2024.